Hello, welcome to the Pitchy Podcast. We're your host, James. And Stephanie. Here on the Pitchy Podcast, we are passionate about good music and a great vocal. We use the vehicle of NBC's The Voice to give you our feedback on each contestant. We give you our feedback on their voice and their overall performance. Here on the Pitchy Podcast, we'll always keep it 100 with our feedback and critiques of each contestant, vocal and overall performance. But what we're never here to do is come for any contestant as a human being or anyone's character. While we may come off a little pitchy at times, if you know what I mean, we'll always do our best to speak our truths with love, kindness, and respect. And with that, let's talk about our semi-final elimination round night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a little melancholy. Yeah. We knew this was coming, Stephanie. Yeah, it was inevitable. And uh, we knew today there was going to be some pretty, pretty rough eliminations. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess if I look at it as the glass half full, is the voice lived up to their rough elimination rounds. <laughs> yes, they did. Absolutely. So, oh, gosh. I, I, gosh, it's just so hard and so difficult to talk about, but we do have to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, just a, a reminder, uh, the, the previous night was just so awesome, so amazing. Uh, we don't get the trios that often. So no. um, to go back and listen to some of these trios again, and actually all of them, uh, it was quite sensational and phenomenal Absolutely. what these artists were doing. And I'm so proud of actually every last one of them. Yes. Um, uh, Stephanie and I feel like you all have been singing your hearts out uh, and, and pound for pound, pretty much everyone's been leaving their everything on the stage. And Absolutely. That's, that's, you know, with a competition like this, we know there are going to be biases. We, we know people are going to have preferences but <laughs> there was a as, bias. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no. Well, well, we'll talk about bias later. Yes. But, um, <laughs> no pun intended. But, um, we, we also know it's a competition, but we also, Stephanie and I watch this for the art of it. That's um, right. For just the love of, of singing and the love of uh, the art of singing. That's right. And we have seen it just so much this season yes so we gotta talk about uh do you want to go through first who uh was left or do you yeah, want to... i'm just gonna run down the whole first top of the show until we okay. get to the instant saves so at the very top of the show we had niall and john come together to sing niall's uh hit single from his current album the show And it was a gorgeous performance. I called it, I wrote down it was lush because they just, it looked like a theater with all the red drapings and all that all over the stage and going up uh, all the way up to the ceiling, basically. And they just sounded gorgeous together. So that was a wonderful, wonderful performance. Um, Carson made the note to say, which I completely agree with, that the contestants this year were just on another level. And that is a lot of why we feel the way that we feel today. And we would have felt that way no matter who went home. And that is a true testament to the amount of talent we had in this season. So our first artist to go through was from Team Legend. It was Nyla Ford, who was um, shocked, to say the least, it seemed, to go through. Yeah, she Um, was over. She was just... And yeah. enthusiastically excited. Yes. And, you know, I, I've said a couple of times that I'm kind of fascinated now with the TV production aspect of this show. And if you remember in the live show, she was the closer with an absolutely perfect song. So I'm not really surprised that Lila made no, it. Through. And she gave an incredible performance. She really did. So... Our next contestant to move forward was from Team Nile, and it was Huntley. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So happy to see him in the finals. Our next artist to move through was from Team Reba, and we had Ruby Lee move through to the finals. 
Um, after that, John came back to do one of his Christmas classics. Uh, that's what Christmas means to me. And it was a really cool setup. A lot of like 70s. It felt very 70s doo-wop. It was really, yeah. really um a a wonderful performance and he just sounds and I feel like I've said this of him the past few seasons he's been on this show that he just sounds better than ever and he just continues to sound better than ever and it's really cool to see him step away from his piano and just do those John Legend smooth movements that he likes to do so after that we had our fourth artist move through It was from Team Nile, and it was Mara Justine. So So there we have it. There we had it. And that left Nini, Bias, Jackie, Jordan, and Mac to all sing in the instant save round. How do you, I mean, how do you pick? How do you pick? I'm going to try to, again, approach this from a glass half full. Some of those singers, low-key, I was excited about (laughs) only because I think Stephanie and I are selfish, and we just want another chance to hear them sing again. Right. And not only hear them sing again, when your back's against the wall, either you rise to the occasion or you, you struggle. Yeah, and I just thought all these singers. I said, "Oh, these singers are going to rise to the occasion." And did they ever? That's right. Um, But I was still very disappointed that a few specific singers did not get through because I just thought that their performances were just. I, I I thought that some of the strongest. Singers, not, I'm not going to even talk about of the season, Stephanie, of the previous night. Some yeah. of the strongest singers were, were left to sing for their lives, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, absolutely. And I just, I am perplexed, America. I really am. Yeah. But it's the, it's the nature of the, the show. And yes. uh, here we are. Here we are. So who yeah. sang first? Up first was Nene Iris, and she sang Mad World by Tears for Fears. I thought this was, I've heard this song sung many times on the shows over the years. And I wrote, I love her voice on this song. 100%. I, I, I said, I, I also wrote, like, because I didn't write too many notes on Nini because I just wanted to listen. Because I right. loved the way she was singing this. Yeah. I thought she was being respectful of the melody. I thought um, it was very tasteful choices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, okay, but this is a, you're singing for your life. So I'm expecting Nene to snap and she snapped. Yeah. I was like, okay. All right. There she is. <laughs> yeah. There she is. Um, I did feel, I don't know if you heard this, Stephanie, and I never, I didn't go back and listen to my good ears, but I did feel that the band and the BGVs were a little hot on with Nini towards the end of the song. Nini has a monstrous voice. Mm -hmm. So for her to me feel like she got drowned out a little bit, I felt like maybe the levels were a little off. Has nothing to do with her, Mm -hmm. but I wanted to hear more Nini. And I thought the band, I mean, again, the band, the BGV sound amazing. And I'm sure um, they were very excited to to play the song as well. Right. Oh, of course. I mean, come <laughs> on. This it's 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 tears for fears. Are you kidding That's me? Right. That's um, right. But uh, I I thought I thought Nini Nini. You know what? Every one of these are true to themselves. Yes. In this in this in this elimination, I sing off, um, which you know you can't ask for anymore. That's right. Um, I thought Nini sang it beautifully. Mm-hmm. I thought she sang it down, Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah, this this round in particular, these instant save rounds, I don't know this for fact, but I would bet that because it is their instant save, this is probably the most say that the artists get to have in their song choice. Like overall, I'm sure that they have some amount of say all throughout the competition, but they probably are able to make their strongest case for their song selection in this instant save because it is that important. Um and when I heard the song choice, I was like, oh, Nini picked this one. Like this, this is surely right. a song that Nini picked because it sounds so much like a song that she would sing. Um, I thought it was co- beautifully controlled at the beginning. I, I really loved her execution at the beginning of the song. 
Um, by the end, when she was doing all of her Nini runs and all of her Nini things, I think that there were a couple uh, pitch issues and a couple runs that didn't exactly land solidly. But at that point, I didn't care because she was doing her Nini things and it was absolutely fantastic. And again, and I'm going to make this point again, Again, specifically for an artist coming up, we cannot imagine, especially at this point in the competition where it's either you go to the finals or you go home, the amount of pressure that these artists are under when they are asked to sing these songs. And I also wonder how much they actually practice these songs. Now, I know that they practice these songs, but I wonder how much they they practice them in in, in comparison to the other two songs that they were responsible for on the live show. Um, so I think we need to keep all of that in consideration, especially when we're looking at these instant point. safe um, performances, because pressure on top of feelings, on top of anxiety, on top of all the things um, make it for a very <laughs> interesting, to see, interesting to see how they land at the end of their performance. And uh, Nene landed on both feet. <laughs> sure, sure did. Sure did. Okay, great. Who uh, was our next contestant? I could cry. Yeah. It was Bias. Bias sang Go Rest High on That Mountain by Vince Gill. Now, it's interesting. Um, before I get into... Uh, uh, how I felt bias did. I you you could have told me that this was a a hymn, like from yeah. old hymnal book. Oh yeah, like like I just oh I yeah knew it was. I was oh, like, yeah. like Vince Gill wrote a hymnal. Um, because I just was like, that's how, in my opinion, bias treated the song. That's right. It was like an old like. Okay, everybody sit in the pews, open your hymn to page 124, <laughs> go tell it on the mountain. You know, like... <laughs> Truly. Like that's, that's how Truly. I, I Truly. said, preach, preacher. Yes. Um, I said, what I loved about this performance that I had not heard yet, um, I heard it, but not in this way. There was a purity. I, I knew you were going to use the same word. And we didn't even talk about this. There was a purity to his sound that I had never heard in previous rounds. I'm about to run around no, my no, kitchen no, table. Please, please no, I know. I'm just about to run around my kitchen table. That's all. I don't have anything to say yet. I'm just about to run. Because yeah. that, yes. And and, and and I don't know if that song brought that purity out in his vocal or his voice. I think that was it. I think it was the length of the notes within the song. Like there was just, there was just so much space yeah. in yeah. some of the lyrics and, and some of the m melody lines of that song that yes, that's exactly was, what I heard James. Absolutely astonishing because to me, <laughs> it was just the, it just showed more, of how diverse of a singer he is. Bingo. Like, I was like, he's got this complete other angle, like a other like level, not angle, but so much level. Yeah. Like that we haven't heard yet. That's I'm right. Like, Y'all got to keep bias. Like you gotta keep bias for that alone. <laughs> because he's given us like bias, like it's giving us all these colors in this very pure, almost <laughs> angelic sound. And I just was like, that, it was it was so gorgeous. Yeah. So, so gorgeous. I said, it sounds like a hymn. I said, Bias, take us to church. I Come said, on. you better minister to the saints because that's exactly what you were doing. I thought it was exquisite, sir. Like, I was like, you know what? If you're going to go out, you need to go out on a high, high. And this was a high. On that mountain. <laughs> On like, that mountain. Absolutely. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> Bias laid it all on the stage. And he was like, and that's me. That's right. <laughs> that's the stage right. left. You know? <laughs> that's that's how I felt. He's like, this is me. Take it or leave it. And that's my offering. Listen. Listen. Stephanie? Oh, my goodness. 
that's what I, I wrote. Come on, worship pastor. You better minister, sir. Like, you better minister, sir. Like, his voice sounded so good. I couldn't believe how, and you use that, it's that word pure. How pure, how tender, how sincere his voice sounded. Come on, choice with some of the runs that he was doing because he still gave us those biased runs. And I was like, I was losing my mind. Um, I told my husband, I said, prayerfully, hopefully, Lord willing, this is many, 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 many years from now. I said, but I want you to get in contact with bias. And if that man is still alive, I want him to sing on my home going. Yeah. He better sing that. Right. He better pull out that selection at my home going because that's how good. Oh, it was, it was good, y'all. It was good. If y'all have not checked it out, go on to the show notes. Please. And click on that YouTube link under Bias's name. It was one of the best performances he gave all season. Yeah. It was wonderful. And wonderful. Stephanie, we have, Stephanie, we haven't used this term all season, but it had that all on oh, it. Oh, that all. That all was thick. That and all Bias, was you thick. you know what we said when we said all. You know that all. And uh, and, and Bias's mom, y'all know. You know. You know that all. She's probably walking that around all. with some. Come on. <laughs> That was, and, and, and here's the thing, Stephanie, that wasn't like when he sang Broken Road the night before, right? Yeah. It wasn't like, I didn't hear the same sound. No, it's, you're 100% correct. And, and I think I, that's because the song doesn't allow for that. No. It's song choice, but song choice, song I choice. Know what that is on his voice, you know, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's, you know. Yeah. It's that oil. It's that um, oil. That's exactly right. If y'all don't know what that oil is, we're saying oil, O I L. And you can figure it out. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to impede on your time. Oh, no. I'm, I, I'm, I, 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 no, mind? no. Because I, like I said, the only thing left to do is to run around my kitchen table. Uh, Stephanie, I and like Shout I'm, glory. I honestly, I started rocking. That's why I, that's why my. <laughs> I look like a bobblehead right now because that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Listen. (laughs) With that wooden wooden stick on the bottom. The picture of Martin Luther King and Jesus Christ. And the funeral home on the back. Ah! Come on. Bias. Church. Bias, can you hit us in our DMs and tell us where your <laughs> church is so we can come visit? Please. It's, look, it's in, I know exactly where, not exactly, but I know where it is. Mama told and, me, hi, Mama. Hey, Love Mama. you. And you know what? We're coming to, we're, I'm going to come sing. We're coming to so sing. We're we coming to sing. Uh, we're coming to sing with you, sir. All right. That was so awesome. All right, next. Woo! Speaking of singing. Speaking of singing. Uh, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still like back in my chair. <laughs> We had Jackie Roar, y'all. And uh, I literally screamed when yep. I heard the song title. So I was like, yup, <laughs> alone by heart. Jackie said, you know what? If I'm going out, I'm going to leave no crumbs. No. No none. shadow of any doubt. That's right. That's right. That y'all are making a huge mistake. Mm-hmm. Huge mm-hmm. mistake mm-hmm. with this offering. Mm-hmm. I knew before Jackie even opened her mouth, as Stephanie says, that there was going to be some crazy holleration going down. Oh, destruction! And what's there? I said, oh. you know what I wrote, Stephanie? Before when I heard when they announced the song, I said, here I wrote, here we go. Like I, 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 I it gave me a chance to prepare myself. I said, here we go. Like, let let me brace myself. Right. I said, if you are familiar with this song, this song has been done many times. It's been recreated by some of the greatest singers of all times. And this song was famously done uh, that kind of brought it into, like, not modern times, but into the last probably now almost 20 years, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because this song really was never redone until um, uh, Carrie Underwood did it on uh, Idol, the, yes. the season that she won. Yes. And that was when I told Stephanie last night, I said, do you remember when that happened, when Carrie yeah. sang that? Mm-hmm. It's Carrie saying it straight. Yeah. That's the thing. She sang it straight, because not much needs to be done with that song. Right. Because it's so special. 
And um, everyone looked at one another. I remember back in the day when Idol was still new, and was like, okay, well, I mean, the show's over. Everybody right. else can go home. Right. Because if this song is executed the way Jackie, the way Kate from last season yes. executed this song, mm -hmm. You can't, I mean, it's it's one of the greatest rock songs of all time. Uh, yes. Male, female. <laughs> it is one of the greatest rock songs of all time, but mm -hmm. it is of the highest level of difficulty. PhD. And you have to be able to sing this song. You got to holler. Yeah, I, I, put, yeah, I, I, I put America, do you know what this song means? Do you understand what she's about to do? <laughs> I said, roar, Jackie, roar. <laughs> I said, love, 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 love it. I put, that is how you fight for you your fight. spot. That's right. You only got one shot. What's that song? One shot. I was going to say Danny D. Kane. Yeah, you only got one shot. <laughs> one shot. Yeah. That's how you get your spot. That's right. That's right. All you aspiring singers out there, when you, you go for broke. That's right. You go for broke. Jackie... What you did, sis, was so brilliant. You did the part of the song that a lot of people won't do. Yeah, it's that, the, that, I call that it slight the, musical the, break. Almost tribal yeah. scream. Yes. <laughs> like that part. I'm not yeah. going to I'm messing it up, whatever. But Jackie, you did it, and you did it with such conviction. You did it with such strength, and you did it with such Jackie. Uh, yes, I'm using you as an adjective. Um, as a descriptive adjective, because you jackified it all. Just it was just crazy. It was pitched perfect. Yes. Song perfect. Yes. You give us beginning, middle, end, as you always do. That's right. And you know what? I love it because when it goes, when it goes, do 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 do, like like it was just like. Like you, you could tell, like you were getting ready. Like she yes. was like, huh, and here it goes. And here it comes. Like, you almost Absolutely. get like, a, a little quick grin. Yeah. <clears throat> right. You all, it's when you know you have a song that is so in your muscle memory that nerves won't affect it, sickness won't affect it, nothing will affect it. Because Jackie, I know you went on lies. When right after you found out you were in the bottom, yes, she I, did I, I for a split second. Yeah, and uh, I know you were probably a mess. Yeah, <laughs> but you were like, no, alone, alone it is. That's right. That's right. Mic drop. That's right. Exclamation point, Stephanie. I have so much that I could say, but I'm going to whittle it down to these couple of points. I thought that her arrangement of this song was brilliant because it gave us the lows at the beginning, but it gave us the maximum amount of roar. It gave us that roar right out of that slight instrumental and it gave us a full chorus and it gave us her singing the word alone twice at the end, which was like, <laughs> it was like exclamation point, exclamation point. Mm -hmm. Um, Shout out to the BGVs yeah. for hitting that upper harmony again. I'm I'm always astounded. I'm always astounded to hear it. It's such an integral part of that song. Yeah, and, and whoever missed the BGV that is doing that upper harmony, you murder it every time if if it's the same person. Um it was I I, I literally wrote Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Jesus and I wrote she ain't scared. She ain't scared. And yeah, she wasn't scared because number one, she picked this song to do. And number two, she executed incredibly. Miss Reba, Reba said, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, like, kind of like what John says, she was singing. I said, yes, Miss Reba, she was singing. She was singing. That's some yep. good singing. Great job, Jackie. Yeah. Um, drop the mic moment. Absolutely. I, I think I had called Stephanie. I said, well. <laughs> Yeah, well. You know what? Uh, well, what you going to do? Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, so our next contestant was uh, Miss Jordan. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, what did she sing? She sang I Don't Dance by Lee Bryce. 
which I'm not familiar with this song. You not know what? Even. Let me tell you something. I said, I thought, like, especially the front half of the song, I said, Jordan, this is some of the best singing I've heard Jordan do um, in the beginning half of the song. Um, I felt that she's another one who left it all out on the stage. Um, I loved seeing Jordan on the stage by herself. Yeah. I didn't know how I would feel about that. I like seeing her just Jordan. Like, yeah. I was like, okay, she can carry it. Yeah, she can absolutely. Carry it. Um, I felt that towards the second, the back half of the song, I felt like maybe she ran out of a little steam mm -hmm. because there were definitely pitch issues towards the back half of the song. Mm -hmm. I said, but it didn't matter because I felt like, again, she left it all out on the stage. And mm -hmm. I said, she's just great. Absolutely. She's just, she's just a really like, she is a, she's a, she's been, she's a huffer. She's been huffing it. Yes. She's like, I've been, I've been doing this for 10 years. Okay. Yes. Yes. You know? Um, and she's just been, Hit, pounding that pavement, uh, gigging as a working musician. That's and right. there is a lot to say for that. Absolutely. And trust and believe those who are working, working musicians prior to the voice will use the voice as a, a, a springboard right. to just even elevate their, their, their uh, working musicianship That's right. to the next level. That's right. So I'm worried about Jordan one bit. Right. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach um, just based on an Instagram post that I saw from Jordan uh, today. That was, that made me mad <laughs> and not mad at her, mad at people and disappointed. Um, so apparently Jordan received some emails or messages or comments or whatever, basically telling her that her performance was not good and that they were glad she did not make it through spoiler alert. Oh my and God. she's not the only one. I saw a lie from Ruby Lee saying that she had received some um, unseemly, unkind messages as well. Um, so I'm not going to say anything about Jordan's performance. I'm going to talk about Jordan as a whole. And I said this yester in yesterday's episode that I admittedly do not like twangy country. I just don't. It's just not my preference. I love it on Jordan. I would listen to any Jordan record. And that's not only because I like her as a person, but I think that she is a immaculate executor of her craft. And anybody, for me, for me, this is just me, doesn't really matter what it is, anybody working in their giftedness and doing it with excellence, I can't help but admire. Right. So I admire Jordan greatly um, because she did have a very different country sound, especially this season. And for people sending messages and emails that are hateful and mean, Bye. As Bye. my grandmother would say, go sit on the tack. It's just, it's just a shame. It's just a shame. And I feel, I feel sorry for them, not for these artists, because these artists are on a number one show, on a number one network, getting tons and tons and tons of exposure no matter whether they end up a winner or not. And these people are sitting in their homes, typing emails and yeah. messages from their home. Living their dreams, Stephanie. Living their dreams. These people, these artists are living their dreams. And it's just, I think that's why we found it so important on this show to say that we're, we're going to be truthful about how we feel about these performances. But we're going to do it with kindness, love, and respect. Because what's the point in doing anything else, right? So, in my opinion, also, it takes more energy <laughs> to be negative. Come on, mean and disrespectful. Yeah, it's just a like, shame. It's, it's 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 it is very unfortunate. It um, is. But. As, uh, you know, Kelly Clarkson told me, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Come on. She better preach. That was a whole <laughs> word. 
That's what she told me. Yeah. Walk on that, <laughs> Jordan. Yes. Yes. So, so keep on, keep on flying, Jordan. Keep absolutely. on flying, sis. You are a star. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And you know what? I know that there are comedy writers that are putting together a show for you that combines mm-hmm. your incredible vocal artistry, your incredible musicianship, mm-hmm. and your incredible comedy. Because you have something that a lot of folks don't do and that's comedic timing come on the next that's reba another, maybe that's another one of your incredible gifts so. yeah she might be the next shine reba on. shine on sis absolutely awesome awesome mm-hmm. awesome run yeah all right so who was our final <laughs> final i was like okay i said somebody's getting the last spot again yes yeah, oh yeah, so, <laughs> yes so 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 i had- want to know who was our final <laughs> i want to know you want to know? I want to know. Listen, it was <laughs> Mac Royals. And if you didn't get it, he sang I Want to Know by Joe. And Stephanie lost her mind once she realized that was the song he was singing. It was so funny. Stephanie and I both remarked. We talked a little bit last <laughs> night. And we were like, because it wasn't clicking at first. When, when Carson announced it, we were like, I want to know. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Like we both probably did. We weren't at the same house, but we both yeah. probably did a scrunch face. Yeah. What? <laughs> and then, then what happened, Stephanie? That thing said, mm, 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 mm. "It's amazing how you knock me off." I said, so so <laughs> "It's amazing how you knock me off my feet." Come on, I wanna know. Come hey. on, hey. Um, man, Matt, I love it. I love it. I love that you went out doing what you do best, man. You are a soul R and B of just the just of one of my and Stephanie and a lot of people because I'm looking at some of these comments, Stephanie. I was looking at like a reel that you put and people who like were commenting. And I have seen more comments about <laughs> I can't believe Mac did not make it through. Right. Like I can't yeah. believe it. Right. I'm sorry, we're foreshadowing a bit, but I, I just, there is no reason, I'm sorry, I'm going to get on my soapbox for a minute, but there's no reason why Matt Royal is not in the finale. There's none, no logical reason. There's none. This man, week in, week out, has yeah. literally given the best performances. And this isn't us being biased. Okay, <laughs> even though bias is giving some of the best performances, that's also. right. That's this right. isn't us being biased, this is the truth. Okay, right. And right. when you have someone as respected in the industry as a John Legend saying, I've never worked with anyone like this man that's ever, right. that's right. That that's right. says something. I don't, America, you got it wrong as far as I'm concerned, mm-hmm. but. You know, it's. I, I almost want to say, I'm kind of glad he didn't, because I know there are probably a lot of obligations of people who win this show. Like you're, yeah. you're obligated, and you have to sign one of those ironclad contracts, right? Blah blah blah. Um, and we've come to find out from previous contestants that you know, once you're done with the show, um, you know, there's like a period of time, mm-hmm. and you're done. Like you're mm-hmm. released mm-hmm. Like, from the contract, and you can right. say and do whatever you want, and Go right. and go get your contract, go tour, go do whatever you want. Right. In fact, some of the early contestants, they're already doing shows. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yep. So I just, um, Mac is so just special. He's just such a special singer. And he's so, I, I was trying to think, Stephanie, you know, how could, and Mac just takes his time. Doesn't yeah. seem like he just, and I don't know if that's like the Arkansas in him, <laughs> because my sister in law's from Arkansas. Um, shout out to Holly Grove, um, Arkansas. But my sister in law from Arkansas, and it's just a different speed, right? And it's, right. You're never too worried, right? Right. And, 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 right. And, and that's why I feel like, like I see the state of Arkansas in Max when he sings. Yeah. Oh right? yeah. It's just oh yeah. Demeanor, disposition. Oh yeah. It is just so smooth. Yeah. It's so right. Yep. And just so banana singing. Absolutely. So I, I was like, you know what? Bring us home, Matt. 
That's yeah. what I was thinking. That's what I was saying through the whole thing. It's like, I wanna know. I was like, come on, BGVs. Oh, and they were singing. They were giving me everything. I wanna know. Hey. Hey. Those BGVs were getting it in. Ooh. I mean, what I gotta do to please you. I was like, come on, Matt. <laughs> yes. It was oh, so good. Oh, it was so, so good. good. So, so, so good, good. Stephanie. At the beginning, um, as the intro was playing, I don't know if you heard him say, but he said, this is for all the real R&B lovers. And I was like, yes, sir. Debbie said. <laughs> Present. Yes. And, and I feel like. And accounted for. Come yeah, on. and accounted for. <laughs> I feel like that's what this whole performance was. I felt like this was, if I'm in this instant love save, I'm a, it was a love letter to the fans. And that's exactly how I took it. I loved it. I love every moment of it. It just felt so right. And I'm so glad that he was able to go out singing something that he clearly loved. And he knew that his fans would, would love as well. Um, it was just a great, great performance. It really was. I loved it. It was, it was, it was just of the highest caliber. Mm -hmm. And Mac is one of those singers where like, it's just, it's never, it's never bad. That's right. Like even probably when he's just fooling around locally, it's just never right, done. right. You're right. just like you're just looking at it. You're like, do, I mean, is it ever? <laughs> like, do you ever sing something wrong or off? No, nah. no, no. So, so, so good. Okay, yeah. so, ooh, Stephanie, it's time to wrap this puppy up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what happened? So, there was five minutes to vote. I made sure I got my phone out. My husband did too. I'm she sure. Was you her, was yeah. Just like, I, like, I was like, hit the box. Like there's there's like this annoying box that you have to hit, like some kind of rules or something yeah. like that. Okay. Oh, like, hit, the, hit, hit the, the box. box. Hurry up. In the end, Jackie Roar went through. And you know, well deserved. She yeah. sang I her face Jeffrey off. I said, and I ain't even mad. No, not at all. She totally deserved it. Thing. She deserved it. We love you. We love you. Win oh. it all, girl. Win it all. Take it. <laughs> Win it all. And you know what? I don't know if you noticed this, but I love the first person she hugged was Mac. It's like oh, she went right that. over to Mac. Oh. Yeah. Like, I just was like. Okay. And I'm going to say this because it needs to be said. And I would feel not truthful if I didn't say it. This is another season, at least that we've been watching the show and reviewing and doing our breakdowns and our feedback where there's nobody of color in the finals. Nope. And, you know, everybody that made it is very deserving. And also, it's disappointing that there's no, there's no person of color in the finals. Both things can be true. And so... And yeah, to me, just... I'm going to take it a step further. If we were talking about talent and true voice, as this show is called The Voice, this is inexcusable mm. because some of the most talented people that have come through this season have been people of color. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying is they're talented because they are people of color. Right. No, they're just talented. Right. They happen to be people of color. Mm -hmm. Talent that happens to be people of color. I know there are a lot of things that go into it, like demographics and, and things of that nature, but um, it it's it's just really good singing. Yeah. I mean, black, white, red, yellow, purple, mm -hmm. gray. Mm -hmm. It's really good singing. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you... Sent home some of these really, really incredible singers. Yeah. It's, I, I'll never understand. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be a popularity contest. Right. I want it to be a contest about the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. But we love you. And we love this show. And we love this show because I think James would agree that we feel like this is the vocal show of the day that brings us the most talent. Yes. I agree. And that's 100%. why we love this show. That's why that's yeah, that's why we love this show. It just gets a little heartbreaking at the end when it does. You know. But you know what? We're 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 grown and stuff. That's we right. can handle it. That's right. Doesn't make it easier, but we can oh, handle it. That's right. 
<laughs> all right. Well, Stephanie, next week, it's all about the finals. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I so can't believe here it's we here go, already. Paul. Yeah. I, I, honestly, like, because yeah, I didn't see it last year coming with Gina. Like, I thought Gina snuck, right. stuck, snuck in there. Mm-hmm. So, honestly, I feel like it's wide open. It is wide, wide open. open. That's right. That's right. For sure. So, bring, bring your best. Bring yes. your best, you five. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. uh, Stephanie, tell them what they need to hear. All right. So don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Pitchy Podcast on your favorite podcast platform. So you can be the first to know when we drop a new episode. And also check us out on YouTube. Please search for the Pitchy Podcast and hit that subscribe button. So you can be the first to know when we drop a new video. And last, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at the Pitchy Podcast for new episode alerts, episode clips, and so much more. All right. So we'll see you all next week for the finale. Can't wait. Bye bye. Bye, everyone.